One of the things you mentioned too that was really critical, I believe, was mission and vision. And not only that is um, market-driven uh, mission statements was one of the one of the items too that that really stood out for me. Uh, what do you mean by add a mission statement that is solely market-driven, and you have the perfect storm for corruption? Well, I think in, in the 80s and 90s, and we've seen it throughout history, is greed can overtake, the drive for profit can overtake common sense and impact leadership decisions. And certainly for many organizations in the 80s and 90s, it was get the consultants in, let's create a mission statement, let's create a vision statement. And they became the fancy posters on the wall. Mm -hmm. Yet if you remove the branding, they were such vanilla statements that you probably A, didn't remember them, or they could have applied to anybody. And what we're seeing very clearly in the 21st century is purpose, is what's mm. driving connection for individuals, teams, and organizations. Why am I coming back to or coming into work every day? And to what extent is that contributing to something, not just to my paycheck, not just to the bottom line of the business, which are still very important because we all mm. have bills to pay and we're in a for-profit industry, but also what's our purpose and what's the impact and legacy that we're leaving in the communities in which we work and operate. Yeah, and that that is a transformation from what's gone before. But I remember, though, the previous old uh, missions were, you know, or, or goals even, too. So we're going from $2 billion to $3 billion or, three, you know, $2 million to $3 million. And that was, mm -hmm. that was our mission statement. Yeah, but money and, and dollars, that does not incentivize. And there is so much research that shows, yeah, okay, in the short term, it might cause me to focus. But in the long term, it doesn't trickle down fast enough to make a difference to me and my performance. What we're trying to do in the 21st uh, century is not just engage the logic and the hands, you've got to engage the heart. And that's where purpose and values mm -hmm. come into play.